G'day guys, welcome back. It's Bloom Day. Yes, and it's Purple Bloom Day. I have got some purples for you today. Love purple. Now, I'm going to try again to get the um, glitter around the outside. I've got this gorgeous purple shimmery glitter. And I've put a little bit in there, hardly any at all, just a tiny little bit. And we'll pop some in there, probably just maybe a quarter full. It's a little four ounce cup, 120 mils in there. Now, if you're doing these blooms and you're still struggling, make sure that you keep all your resin in the cup for the allotted time. Like for me, this one is the tabletop, um, Promarine tabletop. <laughs> And I know I have to leave it sitting in there for 10 minutes, okay? My room's 25 degrees Celsius, and I know I have to leave it in there for 10 minutes. There's no point, um, or if you're using, say, Platinum 360 Plus, you have to wait till it gets to 40 degrees, and then you can decant, and then you can put your, your resin in there for your white, okay? Don't put it in too early, because it's, it's not a very deep cup, and it's not going to warm up at the same rate, as the resin in the deep cup, if you know what I mean. Right, so that's 30 grams in there, one ounce. Rest of it's still in here. Um, now, so I'm just watching the time. I've got one, two more minutes before I need to decant. Now this is the um, Just Resin Titanium White, and all I'm gonna do is just dip my little, this is my little stick, I'm just gonna dip it in, give it a bit of a swirl, and wipe it off. That's all I want. I think a lot of people still struggle with how much to use. It's very strong, like it's very dense, very heavy. You don't need a lot at all. So that's going to be for your white. Uh, if you make it heavier, I mean you can, it, it just means that you may run the risk of your white dropping back to the other side and then you get those blobbies. Um, and also you get quite thick dense petals instead of the really pretty delicate wispy sort of petals but start with a little bit first you can always add more I'll just wipe that off my stick you can always add more but just be careful now the other thing um, I'm not putting any center in the middle this time I'm just gonna do a swirl just do a swirl today <laughs> um, and I'm gonna do a little bit of glitter on the outside if you want your glitter to spread uh, from the outside in pour your edge around first then pour your clear in and it'll spread more but I don't want it to do that so I'm going to pour this in now and that is my 10 minutes up I made up it's it's a um it's a one-to-one -one resin this one it's not a two-to-one resin and as always well that I have found a is heavier than B I have got 112 grams of A and 102 grams of B and that is plenty for my 20 centimeter poinsettia tray that I've got here. Uh, if you want to have, like if you want to do a background top coat afterwards, you've got room to do that as well. So I don't fill it up all the way, it's probably only filled, it's probably only half full actually. Now I'm just making sure there's no little bubbles trapped around the outside. I can't see any. Okay, um, now let's let's pop this silver glitter on around the outside. It's going to be a little bit tricky to get into all those little points and things. I'm just going to try and get it in there. I didn't want it to heavy, just a little bit of silver, a uh, silver, purple, it's purple, I don't know where silver came from, and we go, it's Saturday today, husband's at golf, the house is nice and quiet, I can video in peace. <laughs> right, quick little torch. Be really careful when you're torching. Uh, I know, I've said it to you before. And I'll say it to you again, because I still do fuse molds. Naughty, naughty. Okay, now I've got Let's Resin, Dark Indigo. 
one, two, three. Let's see how that goes. And then purple, just around it. There we go. I think that'll be enough. I, you know me, I like to have some white around the edges and the glitter is going to sort of flow in anyway. So I don't want to have too much purple going on. Now, what is the time? 11.30. Okay, no, I've still got a few minutes. I have to pipe at 11.41. So I'm just going to let that sit for a bit. Um, I think I'll put some more of the dark in the middle. Another two little drops there. Check my white. It is quite translucent, transparent. I can see through it. But um, I don't think I want it any any darker than that. So my little, and I've got a little notebook there. My little page that I've written down says, Stop stirring, 11.24. Decant, 11.34. That's 10 minutes. Pipe, 11.41. So I've got another three minutes to wait. So um, I might just... Swirl these a little bit just to get that kind of wispy outside there. Probably could have done with another drop there, couldn't I? And then we'll just swirl these two together as well. Wipe off my little silicone brush there. Alrighty, that's looking good. Um, two minutes to go. I'm going to come back to you in two minutes, okay? Right, I just used a minute or so just to clean up and wipe the resin off my stir stick so I can use them again tomorrow. Pop the white into our little piping bag. I buy the piping bags just on eBay. They come in three different sizes, the small, medium and large. I just get the small ones. And then I do trim off the top as well because they're quite long. Just don't trim too much off, otherwise they won't fit into um, into your cup. Okay, clean that stick off as well. Actually, I probably don't need that, do I? Because I'm piping today. I'm not um, I'm not sticking today. I'm piping today. All righty. Got my little bit of. Fold it over paper towel and it is 11.41, nice and warm. I'm trying not to make the hole too big. Okay, that seems to be good. That's probably about three millimetres wide today. I think my last ones were a little bit too wide. Now make sure you tuck that end in there okay all right here we go piping pedals concentrating concentrating try and make sure all your little piping lines are about the same thickness don't go too fast otherwise um, you're kind of stretching the the resin that's coming out of the bag and it goes quite thin and then they don't they just don't bloom properly, you guys, if they're too thin. So rather make them a little bit thicker. It's up to you how close you want to do them to each other. If you do them a little bit further apart, you could probably get a little bit more um, colour through the background if you decide to do a background colour. But I'm doing them pretty close to each other. So once they spread... I'm not going to see much background at all. And I'm going to have to stop and wind my little bag back up again. 
and then just continue whoops and stick it in the resin why is that stopping round we go just trying to sort of follow the shape of the the mold a little bit Tiny little bit left. Yay! Oh gosh, it's always nerve-wracking, isn't it, when you're piping? Oh, I find it fun, but it's always a bit nerve-wracking in case you're gonna stuff something up. All right, now as usual, I just sort of go through and kind of break up any big blobs that I can see that might want to be heavy and fall through. Just kind of scraping the top of the resin trying not to disrupt the petals below and I don't want to touch the purple because I don't want to get the purple into my white I like having the white background now with the glitter on the outside sometimes well pretty much all the time if I use glitter when the glitter hits my white petals they kind of go ah you've hit me and they kind of break a little bit it's like the glitter goes into the white and it makes these funny little pockets like a little weird design um i quite like it sometimes and sometimes other times i don't like it if i so I try and use a very fine glitter um but yeah that can happen with with your glitter so if you don't like that sort of broken up kind of petal look don't use glitter <laughs> all right um so all i need to do now is do a little swirl i'm going to do that in a minute though Just give it another little torch and i found with the let's resin inks i get like a variated variegated <laughs> leaf petal on the other side because the it's just the way the ink moves. You get some that are really quite transparent, some are more opaque, and you get this very pretty variegated color. So because I don't have any glitter or anything in the middle, I can swirl wherever I want to, and that's gonna be my middle. Because when you put something in there and then you swirl on top of it, if it's a little bit out, it, you can really notice it. So I'm gonna swirl. So there's a hair on it. So what I like to do is start in the middle, not touching the bottom. Go to the outside and then back in again. And then up. So it should be quite dark in the middle there. <laughs> it's looking quite dark, isn't it? Yeah. I think if you're going to do these, use a, a really highly pigmented alcohol ink, like the Let's Resin alcohol ink. Alrighty. So that's it. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a helping hand with my heat gun, just on low. Just to kind of warm it up a little bit, get it moving. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't do it. Just depends on how fast it's moving. That'll do. Um, but yeah, see how that goes. Now, like I said, it may all close up. If it doesn't, I could put a, a really pretty dark purple on the background, or they'll just see through those little gaps there. But I'm thinking they're going to all clo close over. It usually does, so um, yeah, we'll just wait and see. So shall we do a background, or shall we just leave it? Because even if we do a background, like we probably don't need to do a background because it's got the, the glitter on the outside. And if you do a background, you're kind of going to be hiding your glitter, so... I'll just I'll decide once I know if it's all going to close over or not. I'm, I think it will. Let's get you down. I think it will. It usually does. Unless I wait too long and then, then it doesn't. All right, here we go.
So I guess I'll come back in about 20 minutes or so and see what it's going to do. See how the white is just, just opaque. You can see through it. That's what I like. And you can see there, that's what I was saying to you about those variegated inks. See there's a really pale, wispy one on the end there and then it's darker. And you get all these different different colours or different shades I should say. It's really pretty. Alright, I'll leave it at that and I'll uh, come back tomorrow for the unmoulding or the top coat. Not sure yet. <laughs> See you soon. It's demolding time. It's the next day. And we'll just get this off. Loosen it all the way around. Okay. <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? So exciting. All right. So I've got my little piece of black card there just so that we can have a look for the first time with the black background and then we can move it and see what it looks like with, without this little bit of little point there I need to sand. All right, are we ready? Okay, here we go. Oh, wish me luck. Why am I so nervous when I do this? Oh, all right, here we go. Oh, shut the front door. Oh my gosh. You guys, look. Oh, I think that's my new favorite. See, I told you it's much better without glitter in the middle you get that gorgeous 3d swirl oh wow and look that's it without the the background oh wow I kind of wanted to put a dark purple background on it now you can still do that there's a there's a little lip there because I didn't fill it up all the way as well there's a little lip so the resin goes up to the side of the coaster mold or mold that you're using and then it kind of sticks and then as it dries it kind of shrinks back a little bit and leaves that little lip there so it is pretty easy for you just to do a little thin coat in there and it won't run away <laughs> so we might do that oh my gosh you guys oh, i'm so excited oh look at it look at that oh wow and look it matches my little flower beautifully Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. It worked, it worked, it works. This, oh, this has got to be my favourite. I'm so excited. <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited? Oh, wow. Let's get you down. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't have enough wows. Actually, I wonder if I've got a piece of, another piece of um, card, a different colour. It's just with the black, you don't really see the, the sparkle very much. I mean, you can see a little bit of it, but not a lot. <gasps> oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't have enough wows. I love that center. So that was the two different purples that I used. And you can see how I've still got the white around the outside, which I really love. I love having the white outside and then that splash of color in the middle. And then if you wanted to, you know, put some glitter or something on the edges there just to tie it in. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, I don't, I don't have words. I have no words. This is just... The most beautiful thing I have ever seen. Oh wow. I'm going to have a look and see what other colour card I've got. There's my little envelope thing with my different colours in it. I've got some pink and some navy, some white. I don't think green would work. Yellow. Let's try it. I'm thinking the navy blue is going to be the best. Let's just try it with the navy blue. And look, I have some pre-cut to that size. It's a good idea to do that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. <gasps> you know what? I was thinking of a purple, but this navy bluish, it's kind of like a purpley blue. It's picked up the bluey tones in that center. Ah, <gasps> oh, I love it. 
I don't even want to look at the other colours now. All right, I will. I will. I'll do it for you, but I don't. I don't want to. All right, there's the pink. Still looks nice, but the white kind of gets a bit lost because it's a light. You know, white's light, and then you have a, a light background. So you're better off with a dark background. And there's some blue, light blue. So yeah, you can you know get yourself some card like this, um, and then put it behind your pieces, and you can decide what color top coat you want to do. Like you don't have to decide while your resin's wet and while you you haven't no, before you've unmolded. You can just do what I'm doing, and then just put a, a little top coat on afterwards. Look, you guys, look! Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> That's the best thing I've ever created. All right, I better go. I've got lots to do today. But um, I will definitely see you again for the next video. Or you'll see me. I won't see you. Um, but there you go. Hopefully you've enjoyed my video. I have certainly enjoyed making it. And unmolding it. <laughs> and... Um, I'll see you again real soon for the next video. It's just so 3D. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to take this out and show my husband. Look, Dave, look what I made. <laughs> and you can see those variegated colours there that I was telling you about earlier. I think that makes it, doesn't it? Just, just those colours, the variation of those colours. You can literally see the, the, like the little stripies in the colours. So pretty, so delicate. I'm in love. All right, I better go. I'm waffling on. All right, thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.